the part of trucking I hate the most is my time being wasted. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, age what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Female driver said this is the part of trucking she hates the most. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Part of trucking I hate the most is my time being wasted. Y'all, I got this load from Illinois to bring it down here to Jacksonville, Florida. Set myself up last night, came and slept on the Cosine yard just to set myself up to be unloaded this morning, right? Point me was at 7 o'clock. This is a three-stop load. So I'm supposed to get unloaded here, the next place at 2 o'clock, and then the, my last place tomorrow at 7 a.m. Y'all watch, go check in at the gate at 6 o'clock. And these folks telling me, oh, we can't take you today. Your appointment is tomorrow. Whole day wasted. And I could have went home. I could have went by the house and spent time, with, you know what I'm saying, with my family for Easter. But no. A whole fucking day wasted, y'all. I'm so irritated. Like, Well, that's trucking. That's trucking, y'all. Drivers, let her, let her know. Let her know, drivers. That's trucking. Unfortunately, you're going to get into situations that's going to be beyond your control. Seeing your situation that I could see is that I think it was a misunderstanding with the load time. Now, if you had gotten with your fleet manager and your fleet man manager gave you a time to actually be there and you got there on time on the time that you were supposed to be there via of what your fleet manager had said then there's some miscommunications between the fleet manager and the broker and the people that you're supposed to be delivering to. That's where the misconception and the misunderstanding coming into play. I, I don't see it as your fault because you got down there, you on the three-stop load, you got to your first load on time, did what you did what you can do by staying on the consignees, uh, property, which I do the same thing. I mean, I get down there, I post up so I can be like either the first person in the door or the first person before my appointment time. So when they come out there and see me, they can knock on the door and be like, yo, you got a load for us? Like, yo, bro, yes. Here, go ahead and hit that dot. Boom, I'm done. But in this situation right here, you... You 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 got mis you got miscommunications from from the broker. See what I think is, and these brokers, y'all gotta stop doing that. Y'all gotta stop doing that. Y'all gotta make sure that y'all talk to the people to make sure y'all get a good understanding on the time that you need us to be there. Because when we get there, especially if we get there on time, we want to be unloaded on time because time is of the essence especially if i'm on a three-stop load see if i can't get this first load off then that's going to be a problem for the rest of the deliveries luckily for me i got a company that's like look if we can't get it off we're going to have to put it at a at a dead drop get that dead drop and let them worry about getting the load from them and then i could continue on with dropping the rest of my loads that's what's up that's what's up it's crazy that brokers does that you know when they reach out to these carriers and say hey we need you to deliver this at a certain time but then when you get there that time is not asserted Drivers, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Don't you know me, oh?